All right, what's up, y'all? Take a fan here. As I was about to tell today's video, here to showcase the top three point guard builds in NBA 2K24. Now, it's safe to say six foot six is the best point guard build height in the game. It's what meshes up the best with the ball handle three point caps that you want to shoot for, as well as it's also just a good height in general. The taller you are as a point guard, the better in terms of negating shot contests and stuff like that. And not to mention, it happens to be one of the best jump shots in the game that you're going to get, period. It's in a situation where this year's game is a little bit harder to justify smaller point guards because the wings get a better jump shot than the guards even do in general. Now, here's the thing. The guards like this, the 6'4", get the best jump shot in the game, period. But you have to be starter three to get it. So it's very exclusive to some people as far as whether it's worth to even run as a 6'4 point guard, even in the competitive pro-am scene. So if you're a little bit more of a casual player, I highly recommend you go with one of these 6'6s that we're going to show in today's video. But if you happen to be kind of a sweaty, offensive comp pro-am point guard that wants to find a build for you i think this is a good one right here for the 6-4 and if you happen to be starter three it's even better because that patty mills jump shot is absolutely insane but we'll start us off with a six foot six the tracy mcgrady base is the stuff that you're looking for out of the best jump shot in the game and as you can see with this one we're going six foot six with a six eight wingspan it's a little bit more defensive we're going to absolutely talk about that but as you can see we still have enough dunk to dunk the ball now Here's the key of what you want to like look for and talk about. In case you guys don't know, if you have, like let's say we took this driving dunk off, right? And we had 65 standing dunk, with, but with no driving dunk. You can't perform standing dunks. At least it's very rare. You'll maybe pop them off every now and then, but just because you have the packages does not make it so you can do them. For whatever reason, you have to have some form of driving dunk package to be able to do your standing dunk packages as well. So when you combine the fact that you'd get 40 with CJ McCollum package and a couple rim grazers, and then still have some good standing dunk packages as well, this is what can compensate for you your lack of like finishing game in general, and you'll be able to still dunk the ball when you're open. So around that, we have the 84 mid range for the gold mini magician. You got the 92 three pointer for the limitless range, dead eye, all that stuff. Some good jump shots that you're gonna get with the 92 three pointer. Like for instance, you could run Tracy McGrady base with pure Kyle Korver upper. It's like a, a 90 rating requirement for that jump shot specifically. Then we also have 89 pass act for that Halliburton pass style. We got 86 ball handle, and that's enough for like the Kimba escape moves. And then we got the Jamal Murray behind the back, some of the best room moves in the game. And then you still have enough speed with ball for let's say magic dribble style, or if you wanted to run pro instead and still have silver speed booster, blow by, hyperdrive, all that stuff that matches up with it. And then we have really good defense surrounding this as well with a 94 prim for elite challenger, workhorse, ankle braces, all that stuff. You still get the clamps and 94 feet and extra level as well. It's a really elite level of perimeter defense. And then you even still have 91 steel, which combines gold interceptor with gold glove as well. It's one of the best benchmarks to shoot for as far as a steel rating goes. And you have decent speed, okay acceleration, and then enough, enough strength to still have bronze fearless and then the gold clamps as well. So that's what you're looking at with this build. It's pretty straightforward. It's about as simple as that. It's a good two-way point guard build that will not be a liability at all on defense. After having played with my IRLs, I now understand too that... Just because you invest like crazy into offense on your build, like if you go a 92 ball handle and an 83 speed with ball and like 70 or like 87 acceleration, something like that, in comparison to a build like this or even 94 three pointer as an upgrade, you will still struggle if it's something that you're not exactly great at. So if you happen to be someone who's a little bit more of a casual and you don't want to have to be so heavily leaned on when it comes to you having to carry the offensive load, you can make up for it on the defensive end as well by having a build like this. So this is the look that we have to start off with. Also, just a quick shout out to the interior defense, as you can see. So like, let's say you dropped it to 34. What's that going to buy you? Like maybe four speed with ball or something like that. Or if you do ball handle instead, it's like two. So I think that interior D going up to 65 is well worth it, in my personal opinion. And then again, you still have some dunk on your build with good standing dunk threat as well. While being six foot six, having the best jump shot in the game. And it's about as simple as that. And you're going to be a good defender. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm pairing up with the NBA 2K Lab this year. So you can use code Laker for 20% off at checkout at their website. That's NBA2KLab.com. On this website is all types of really good statistical jump shot information. You can also test the jumpers on their website too. Plug the controller straight into your phone or to your PC. You can get early, green, late. It'll tell you where you need to adjust on that jump shot. Or if you don't know what jumper you want to run, you just go to their jump shot recommender. You punch in your height, the jump shot rating that you're working with. And then based on the milliseconds of timing that you get, it'll recommend you a jump shot so again if you want to use code laker for 20 percent off at checkout that's nba2klab.com appreciate you guys and we'll get back to the video so that is our initial six foot six the second six foot six that we have here is a little bit more offensive but with no finishing investment at all so 
This has 94 three-pointer, 84 mid-range. It's the exact build I was just talking about where my friend Tanner is on this and I put him onto it as an IRO. And it's still a good defensive build for sure, but it leans a little bit more into playing with a pure inside on the court as well as the fact that it has better ball handling, better handles for days, speed booster, you know, unpluckable, all that stuff. So it's absolutely a really good handler. And if you have a little bit more of a handle on the game, you know, not to like be punny or anything like that, but if you have a little bit more of a good grasp on the game and understand the ways of movement and shooting off the dribble and stuff like that, I think this is a good build for you. Mid range is accept accessible with this. The layup is still decent. It's not like anything super crazy. Also, I couldn't afford the strength to get fearless finisher. So just keep that in mind as well. If you wanted to tweak that on your own, feel free to as well. But we once again have decent interior defense, good enough perimeter D for that gold challenger and all these other badges that come with like the 85 prim as well. So like we got challenger at 80, 82, we got 85 prim D for the clamps and then 87 for the challenger as well. 89 steel for the gold interceptor. It is not enough for gold glove. If And again, if you want a gold glove, you may as well just make the other build that I showcased where it has the 91 steel with less three pointer. But other than that, we have a lot of speed and acceleration caps matching up with this as well, where it's 82 for that gold hyperdrive, 87 for the, for the speed booster and stuff like that as well. And then obviously with the ball handle again, I mean, that's literally three of the really huge badges like blow by speed booster and pluckable. And then again, just enough strength for silver clamps, not enough for fearless. And then to kind of backtrack here, because I didn't even talk about this, the difference between 92 three pointer and 94 is pretty massive. So let's go over all the things that it is. At 93 is literally no difference at all other than open looks. That's all you get. But at 94, as you can see, you get whistle, guard up, space crater, corner specialist, and agent three all upgraded a level. So when you compare that to a 92 versus the 94, 94 can be a pretty big deal. So if you want to be an offensive PG, that's a pretty big step up just for two ratings and one overall point, or maybe two, if you want to, you know, push it to its limit. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the 6-4 offensive absolute threat. Now I did make a slight tweak from when I initially made this build to literally just now. I, I made a little bit of an edit. I think the 6-6 wingspan is actually a better way to go with the 97 three-pointer and to just ditch the Hall of Fame Agent 3 that you would have got with 98. And this is the exact replica a build of what AK, our comp pro MPG, wants to make for his point guard build when he hits starter three for that Patty Mills. Now, just keep that in mind though, obviously that's something that even him is a little bit hesitant to make until he gets that Patty upper, you know, the Patty base with like whatever he's gonna run for uppers and stuff like that. But the Patty Mills base is really nasty when you do hit that starter three. So this is the build though, the offensive absolute threat. So you got 80 layup for that Trey Young floater package that you're gonna get as well as Pro Touch and Silver Slithery. You got 92 midi for the Hoff Mini Magician. You got 97 three-pointer for Hoff Blinders as well. And then also like with 96 three-pointer comes Gold Limitless too. And you know, all those crazy badges that we showcase with the 94 three-pointer that come along the way. 95 ball handle gives you the Hall of Fame handles for days while 90 speed with ball is not really for anything in particular other than the very big thing of getting that Kyrie dribble style. It's a huge deal. Obviously, as you can see, there's not a big difference between like any of these speed with ball ratings from 83 all the way up to 90. It's just that Kyrie dribble style is that big a deal. Not to mention speed with ball can be pretty convenient to have as well. So you combine all those things with obviously like, you know, we have that 92 ball handle that gives all these good thresholds off that. And then boom, you get the 95. I know we don't have the acceleration for blow by or anything like that, but it's okay. It's not something that's completely necessary or anything like that. But it's not a very good defensive build. Obviously, you can see that it has no steel, no ability to protect itself on lanes or anything like that, no block, no nothing. And then it has only 58 Prim D for the bronze off ball pest and then 54 interior. Now, I do believe that with this wingspan and this height and this interior defense, you can still defend yourself pretty good if it's just locks. Now, if it's people that got high standing dunk and stuff like that, it's gonna be rough because you can't protect yourself on cuts with the steel to just deny the pass in general or to scare the team from even just throwing it at all. But it's still something that is doable on defense at the expense of an amazing offensive build. And then also, as you can see, we have the speed for speed booster rather than acceleration this time. A lot of meta guards that have the Kyrie dribble style kind of buy into this whole like low acceleration ideology, which I can understand. It's okay, obviously, as long as you do dribble moves that set it up like escape moves, hezzy, stuff like that. This is the thing though. This build requires a lot more skill gap to really master. You know what I mean? Like. When it comes to other builds, you're just going to buy into being such a two-way. It's going to be a lot easier for you to just fit into a team and, you know, play your way into success while playing defense. This one right here, if you're not good on offense, you are going to be holding your team back really bad. So make sure that you know that this is something for you and your team is actually set up for this. Or even if your team's not set up for this and you're playing rec randoms and stuff like that, 
make sure you're at least the right player for this and you're very good on the offensive end and can actually create with your three level ability and yes it is three levels because this layup is actually quite the threat as well i think it's actually a really good investment to the build and then besides that obviously you got the you know 99 stam for the handles for days you got good speed good excel good enough excel i should say but anyway it's a great offensive build a playmaking shot creator if you will that's really all about like hunting threes hunting the pick and roll being a threat in the pick and roll to get that back end stepping up and then you get easy passes and good pass accuracy as well and the heat that comes with this with that halliburton pass style to kind of punish them for having to step so high on you so again make sure you're the right person for this type of a build but even if you aren't these two builds can fit in really well with point guards and if you're looking for a five out offensive build i'm gonna make a video very soon detailing what i think the best heights are for a five out build to run point guard with what between like let's say the six four the six six even the six eight and the six tens as well so all heights in between six four to six ten i'm talking about what is what you want to look for for a five out build so if this video didn't really you know pique your interest as far as like the type of builds you're looking for that five out one is going to be exactly your type because it's going to have those types of dunk builds that have the contact dunks and all that stuff as opposed to these ones are obviously a little bit more of like a pick and roll and a little bit more like pick and pop pick and roll or just your teammate kind of sit and block type offensive builds and stuff like that you don't need as much spacing you are the creator and stuff like that so you're creating the space for your teammates that have an inside and stuff like that so anyway that's all video i hope you enjoyed if you did feel free to drop a like sub if you're new to all noties all good stuff and like always try this one a thousand likes if you made it to the end of the video put six four or put six six in the comments search perch mail way through whichever you like more between the six four or six six but anyway that's all video stay tuned for other ones too we're gonna do the top three locks the top three centers if you guys really want i'll do the power forwards and shooting guards as well and expand into the pro-am domain rather than to just only talk about like builds that can translate the park and stuff like that but feel free to let me know anyway that's all video hope you enjoyed and that take man peace